This is the FastFX bar, the one-click solution to everything that was previously a process. This new bar sits cleanly within the After Effects interface, just where you need it. Our centered null button attaches any highlight layers to a single null. Move the null and all the layers move with it. Make an adjustment layer with just one click. Make text with just one click. Need a solid? One click, bam, instant background. We'll give you a flash in one click, a blur in in one click, a blur out, a zoom in. Remember, we're doing all this without you having to place any keyframes. Now here's one of my favorite buttons, CineShake. Whether you want to create a handheld shot or a more violent earthquake effect, the choice is yours. Adjust the intensity, the speed, the decay. It's that easy. Want to quickly clone or loop your keyframes? Just one click. Now do you want to excite your keyframes? What does that mean? It means that when you place two keyframes, with one click you can cause the object to overshoot and rebound with custom sliders to tweak the drama. We got one click time remapping, the ability to reverse, rotate, or resize a clip, or flip it in the X or the Y direction. This speed bar is crazy. It's time to kiss dragging and right clicking goodbye. And check out this last tool, the anchor point mover. With one click, you can put your pivot anywhere, whether it be the top, the side, the center, whatever feels right. You just watched an entire After Effects animation be built faster than it took for you to hold your breath. Now imagine yourself two minutes from now. If you'd like to update your After Effects with the fast FX bar, check it out in the link below. Okay, that was a quick summary. Now it's time for a deeper dive. Once you've actually downloaded the pack, make sure to unzip it, go to Google and search for the ZXP installer. This is a very famous product installer by AE Scripts. There's a very big chance you already have it downloaded on your computer already. Open the installer and drag the ZXP file into it, and it'll automatically install the FastFX toolbar inside After Effects. That's it, now you're ready to go. Then you're gonna go to Window, go to Extensions, and you should see where it says Fast VFX Toolbar. Make sure you check it, and then it should show up. You can move this toolbar anywhere you want. Now we have five main modules. We're gonna check out what each one does. First module is about layer management. Here we have a comp with three birds. Of course, each of these birds can be moved individually, but how do we move them all at the same time? What we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of the layers within the comp, and we're gonna click on center null. What that does is it creates a new null, and now this one null can control all three layers at the same time. Next button is the adjustment layer button. This creates an adjustment layer with one click. Next button is a text button. Click on it and it creates a text box with one click. Next is a sort layers button. What that does is it sorts layers according to the color that it's labeled. Next is the solid button. That simply creates a new solid with one click. Now let's go over to the effects module. First, we'll move the playhead to wherever we want this effect to take place, and then we'll click on it. We'll first start with the flash effect. What this does is it creates a flash anywhere you want in your comp. Check it out here. Next effect we'll look at is blur out. If we click on it, it will place the blur out wherever your playhead was last. This basically blurs out any clip beneath it. At the same time, we can have a blur in. We'll put that at the beginning of the clip and it will go from blurry to non-blurry. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the second clip, make sure that we have it clicked and selected. Then we're gonna click zoom in. That essentially creates an adjustment layer with um, keyframes on it that zooms in the scale. All of this can be, of course, edited and adjusted to your liking. Next, we're gonna check out wiggle. Let's click on the clip, go over to the wiggle button, and we can see that we basically have a wiggle effect that we can now apply without having to worry about expressions or keyframing or anything crazy. Um, we can also go to something similar called CineShake. This gives us a few more options we can go over to shake type and actually pick a handheld camera, earthquake, um, handheld camera is especially convenient. It's probably the one that I've used the most. We can also go to use preset 
and then you can actually check out a whole bunch of incredible presets that are actually our original presets that we have in other packs that we've sold for years on the channel, but we have them all incorporated in this toolbar. Beat drops, different types of earthquakes, horizontal shakes, rotational shakes, impacts. You guys can check those out. Let's go over to just the handheld camera and show you that you can affect the intensity as well as the speed, even the delay. You click apply and it instantly applies just to the clip that was selected. You can see that natural handheld camera look. Next, we're gonna go over to the keyframe tools. These are very, very interesting. If I make two keyframes, how about I make a position keyframe and a scale keyframe? And then I manually do a zoom in. What I can then do is I can use this button to clone these keys. But here's where it gets actually even more interesting. I'm gonna highlight all these keyframes. I'm gonna then hold shift, and then I'm gonna click on clone keys again. And you can see the option to reverse the keyframe values. This is where this actually gets very, very useful. If we click apply, it will then reverse the values. So instead of zooming in twice, it'll zoom in, it'll stay where it's at, and then it'll actually zoom back out to where it was before. Let's check out loop keys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all these keyframes. We're gonna place our playhead and then we're gonna press loop keys. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna loop these keyframes over and over and over and over again. Useful for niche situations. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to use the excite keys. Let's add some keyframes, position and scale. And what I wanna do is I want to Make this really big. I'm gonna add another position keyframe. I'm gonna highlight all the keyframes and then do just a simple easy ease. And then I'm gonna just play through it so you can see how it looks. Very linear, no bounce whatsoever. If I make sure that these are all highlighted, then I do excite keys, this is what happens. You can see there's a little bit of a bounce. Subtle, but beautiful. You can use Excite keyframes anywhere to add just a little bit of bounce and elasticity to any boring keyframe motion. As far as the transform and speed module, we have many different options. We can click on the time remap button and it opens up the time remap keyframes on any layer that's picked. We can go over and click on any layer and then click on basic rotate. This will essentially rotate the layer into whatever position you'd like. We can go to global reset. That will just reset all of the parameters of any effects that you have on it. We can flip in the Y direction by clicking on the flip Y button. We can flip in the X direction by clicking on the flip X button. We can actually reverse the time by clicking on time reverse, and then of course reverse it back by clicking on it again. We can actually create a freeze frame, which is amazing, just with one click. And you can see that it freezes the footage in the timeline. We can also resize the footage. We can click on any size that we want, then click apply. Now it's time to go over to the last module, one of my favorites, the anchor point mover. What this does is whatever element that you have, it changes where the anchor point is. So make sure that you've clicked on it. As you can see, if you click on the center, the anchor point will be in the center. If you click on the side, it changes to the side. You can move it to whatever side, or whatever corner that you want you can change the anchor point with just one click. And here's a crazy trick. Let's say that for some reason you've moved your layer off from the center. If you hold down shift and then click on the center point, it'll always move your layer to the center of the comp. And that's it guys. Happy playing around with the fast VFX toolbar. You can get a download link down in the description.